Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Today, we're going to be talking about Boogie. So, as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons. So, let's get to it. Pros. Uh, uh, hmm. Well, New York City theaters have reopened after one whole year of being shuttered for obvious reasons. So, that's obviously a good thing, you know, New York City, well, it's New York and LA, they're the two biggest markets in America, all right? So, when both of them were down, both of them couldn't operate, that meant a lot of movies, a lot of big, big movies that were supposed to come out last year couldn't come out because you didn't have New York City and you didn't have LA. So, without those two, why even open? (laughs) That's the reason why... Nearly all of the canceled series even exist. It's because New York City wasn't open and LA wasn't open. But now that New York City is open, that only means, theoretically, it means good things. It means business should go up. So, yeah, I guess you can call that a pro. Other than that, I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. Well, I guess it's in theaters, so if you're interested in watching something... You can watch this, I guess. All right, that that's it. That's all I got for pros. Cons. Uh, this is a basketball movie. And despite basketball being extraordinarily popular in the United States, the basketball movie genre isn't very popular at all. Or at least it doesn't seem to be very popular. I mean, if we're talking about sports, football, and boxing are far more popular than basketball has ever been. Still, the highest grossing basketball movie to this day is the masterpiece known as Space Jam. All right? One of my favorite movies of all time, Space Jam, which is getting a sequel this year. And yes, I've seen the uh, redesign of Lola Bunny. Not the biggest fan. I know why they did it. But I felt like it's kind of stupid. And I've seen 3D Bugs Bunny. And I wish I didn't see 3D Bugs Bunny. Some things are just better in 2D than they are 3D. You can tell how interested I am in Boogie when I'm talking about Space Jam. Okay, enough about Space Jam. But yeah, other than Space Jam and I guess... um, Well, there's Coach Carter. And there's White Men Can't Jump. Is that the name? I forget. Something like that. Yeah, basketball movies aren't particularly popular. I mean, look at last year's of The Way Back. Nobody saw it. Well, it didn't help that it came out right before the pandemic uh, destroyed everything. But yeah, basketball movies, not a big genre, surprisingly. So that's definitely a con. Another con, lack of big name talent. I don't recognize anyone here. So that's obviously a problem. Uh, Another con, uh, lack of real marketing or at least big marketing. I haven't seen a single ad for this movie at all on YouTube. I've seen ads for Chaos Walking, but I haven't seen a single one for Boogie. That's a problem. (laughs) So, yeah, that's definitely a con. Uh, Another con, the most obvious con of all, COVID still here, pandemic still here. A lot of theaters are still shuttered. Some are starting to open again, particularly, you know, with as I've said, New York City. But still things are not very good and it and it will continue to not be very good for at least the next few months. I think by May, June, we might start getting back to the the positive side of things. But as of right now, we're still in the negatives. <laughs> things are still not great. So, yeah, that's an automatic con. And also the fact that of the three movies that are coming out this weekend, this one looks like it will likely just fall through the cracks. Because that's what usually happens when you have, like, three or more movies come out. At least one of them will falter, and the other two will do relatively better. And I feel like this will be the on one out. This will be the one that falters. So, yeah. (laughs) 
Uh, so opening weekend time. How much do I think it will make? I think $1 million is the as highest I am willing to go for this movie. But I don't think it will hit that. It might reach 800000 or 700000 opening weekend. And then for its total, it'll probably reach like two, three million. And then that'll be it. No one will ever talk about it ever again. So that's Boogie. Which I think is, honestly, I think is a bit of a weird name. Because when I think of Boogie, I think of a couple things. One, I think of dance. Two, I think of the YouTuber. <laughs> and three, I think of the... Uh, Boogie Nights, which had uh, Mark Wahlberg back in the '90s, that was that movie was about the porn industry, and they had an infamous scene of Mark Wahlberg, in, who was in front of a mirror, giving a pep talk to his schlong. It wasn't his real schlong, but still, it was. Why am I even talking about that movie? <laughs> okay, anywho, all right, that's it for Boogie. Next up, Chaos Walking. That one's going to be real interesting to talk about. <laughs> and then after that, Rhea and the Last Dragon. And that'll be it for a good three weeks. Because the next movie that will come out will be on the 26th. And that's Nobody. And for March 31st, that's Godzilla vs. Kong. So yeah, after these three, you're going to have a bit of a gap between new movies. But I will do early summer predictions within these two weeks just to fill in that space. So you can look forward to those. And yeah, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications, share the whole drill. Want to check out more videos like this? I got play playlists on the homepage, all the movies that have currently come out this year. I've covered them all. I've made predictions for them all. I've also made predictions for movies from 2019, 2020. So you want to check out any of those, go right ahead. I got the canceled series. I go over all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't because of a certain virus. I just did two episodes back to back the same night. <laughs> uh, parts 44 and 45 where I talked about Fast Furious 9, Minions 2, Quiet Place 2. So if you want to check out uh, Peter Rabbit 2. How can I forget that one? If you want to check out those and all my previous canceled episodes, go right ahead. Got box office recaps. Go over the box office results for any particular month. I will do my February, March recap in April. As for my April recap, ugh. I'll probably just group that in with May. And then after that, I think it'll be fine to just do single month recaps after that. Maybe. We'll see. Things th things can change. But that's what I'm planning on at the moment. But if you want to check out any of my past recaps, uh, go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.